This is Chris Kett with your core complete side plank test. All right, for our first side plank test, for our beginner level, where you're just going to hold in a bent leg static side plank, all right, where I'm uh, bringing my uh, hips up, extending my hips forward, everything should be straight. I should be feeling this in my side versus anywhere else for 30 seconds. Now, if I find that I'm sagging down, I'm rotating under, or I'm feeling this in my shoulder, okay, then I, I only want you to hold it for as long as you can without those things occurring. Um, time the, the amount of time that it takes you to start kind of failing in those areas. All right, record that. The goal is to reach 30 seconds. Once I can do that for 30 seconds, I'm going to move into a side plank with an arm sweep. Okay, again, I'm thinking one, two on the way up, one, two on the way down for 30 seconds. And the, the keys are the same. Once we can do this for 30 seconds, we're going to move to the last level, okay, which is side plank, arm sweep followed by a leg lift. Again, I'm counting the two in each position there. And really with this, again, 30, we want to be able to maintain statically in that position for 30 seconds. One question that I often get is, why don't we do it with a straight leg? I have to find that when we're going straight leg, especially with females, you know, the, um, the, it, it becomes a strength issue versus kind of a core stability issue where the, the, uh, maybe the weakness of my upper body is overwhelming my ability to do it correctly. So with both the plank and the side plank, you can put your elbows up on a chair or incline yourself to some degree to take weight off of your upper body and focus more on the core. And it's the same idea with the side plank. My knees are bent. Therefore, I'm hitting this more, I'm putting less weight on my upper body. So that's our progression, and that's what I'm looking for.